Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Tired. <laughs> Why are you tired? Yeah, because I have a a busy day. You had a you had a busy day, really? I had a busy day, yes. Okay, but that's good. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. We How are, are you? Busy, kind of sleepy, teacher. What? No. Well, you don't need to be. You don't need to be sleepy tonight. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We're about to be done. Okay, um, so today is Thursday, right? It's Thursday. Thursday, February the 9th. Today is our class number eight because I couldn't make it yesterday. I had a problem with my wife's car, so I had to go and pick her up somehow. So I had to take an Uber and then pick her up because her car was failing so we actually end up changing the battery and it started working all good evening. right guy good evening carlos okay so tonight let's start say hello to your classmates you only have five minutes for that activity remember hello how are you everybody Hello, fine. Yeah. And you, how are you? I'm uh, kind of tired. We we was talking to the teacher. Oh. Talking is is okay, teacher. Talking. 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 Uh huh. Uh, we were talking with the teacher. We were talking to the teacher about the busy the, the busy day and the sleepy that we, we that we are. About how sleepy we are. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> take take a coffee. <laughs> Have, but, some coffee. Have some but, coffee. Have some coffee. I had some coffee, or you should have some the, coffee. The coffee is a problem with me because uh, really the coffee um, disappeared my sleep. <laughs> take, take, and after the coffee, class, take you are not coffee. going to. It's, it's like a, a soda. Mm. If you take a a, cu a cup of coffee or soda in the afternoon i have problem with the with this with the dreams with this sleep okay mental hello hi wendy hi it's mental. Ah, yes. <laughs> the problem is mental. The mm. problem with coffee. Uh, I I wish that 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 they, that this were true, but in my case is is real. I wish this wasn't true. I I wish. This wasn't, wasn't true. This wasn't true. Okay, but no, in my case, is it's for real. It's, it's for real. A hundred percent. So I didn't take a coffee and soda. But just in the afternoon, in the morning, you don't have problem. Yes, I take. Three cup of coffee in 
until 1 p.m. Uh, but after that, I don't, I don't take a coffee and soda. Okay. I had some problems with the coffee, but if I take a coffee, maybe at five, five p.m. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But if I take the coffee maybe at 3 p.m., it's okay. De de depends on the coffee, too. Ah, maybe, yes. Yes, it depends. Yes, yes. The problem is the strong coffee. A strong coffee, yes. Is the problem because as uh, <coughs> Different coffee or how do you how do you say suave soft soft coffee soft coffee soft coffee it's okay no problem no problem it's okay yeah I I drink coffee for example nine nine p.m. at nine p.m. not what? At 9 p.m. At night. At 9 p.m. But not it's not strong coffee. Soft coffee. Soft. Sorry? How do you say? Um, so if you drink a soft coffee? Cafe suave? A decaf coffee? Or you can use the, the, the word pure. Pure pure coffee. Yeah. If you drink pure coffee, uh you become sleepless. You become sleepless. Okay. Yes. Strong coffee, soft coffee. Oh my god, we are just seven. Where are the others? I'm sleepy, maybe. I'm sleeping. <laughs> we are eight. Coffee takes my sleepiness away. Coffee takes my sleepiness away. My sleepiness, my sleepiness away. Okay, so let's start. That's the only way. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Nope. Okay. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas Joven. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Okay. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present, teacher. Great. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present, teacher. Good. And we have Mario Villeda. And presentation. Diana, Diana is here too. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. So let's get this started. Now we are 10 at least. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge you right now to build as many um, sentences as you can to make sure um, you, you already have control over not only but also both and and neither nor. Okay, remember that we're just looking at the negative part of neither nor. We haven't 
seen um, the comparison part, neither or, either or, either or, I'm sorry, either or. So neither is for negatives. Uh, really quick, can somebody give me an example on the chat using neither or? I'm sorry, neither nor. Okay, one example, let me give you one. Neither I will go to the supermarket nor the grocery. I refuse to do that. I refuse. I don't want to go. Ni ir al supermercado ni a la tienda. Me rehuso. Neither my mom nor my dad give me money today gave me yep very good Just gave me gave me mm -hmm. okay keep it um, up neither finite neither finish my homework i neither finished my homework uh-huh nor I'm, I, nor i'm not going to sleep today tonight mm -hmm. neither i neither finished my homework nor i'm sleeping tonight mm -hmm. so neither i i neither finished my homework nor i'm sleeping tonight Okay, by saying neither, you're using the negative already, Silvia. So neither, neither I will travel. Let me see. Neither I will travel to Spain nor Paris. Neither I will travel to Spain nor Paris. Neither Juan nor Pedro like pizza. Neither Juan nor Pedro likes ¿Sí? pizza. Sí, de verdad lo siento. Like pizza, yeah. Ustedes no encajan. Creo que debería renunciar. Trabajo aquí, ya llevo casi 20 años. ¿Sí? Escucha, tal vez exagere un poquito presumiéndote y But diciendo que eres una atleta universitaria y que... <laughs> that is Spanish. Okay, Silvia, do you, need, do you want to say something? <laughs> okay, you got it. Okay. So that's your challenge right now. I will give you just 15 minutes or so. So you can build as many sentences as you can. Try to practice at least five, not only, but also five. What was the other one? Both and. Both and. Both and. And the last one we saw, which is neither. What? Neither nor. Okay. Negative. Remember, neither is the no already. Neither I will eat pizza nor sandwich nor a sandwich. Neither I will eat pizza nor sandwiches nor a sandwich. You need to pluralize or do singular on, on sandwich. Good job. Good job, Wendy. Okay. Show me what you got. Let's go in small groups. We are 13 already. That's awesome. So let's make groups of four to make sure that everybody participates. Let's go. Pueden compartir su pantalla si no necesitan. Okay.
Okay, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mario, Norma, please accept the invitations. Both Marios. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Both and. I don't know if we, we can write the sentence in the chat for. You can type. You can, you can type your. Repeat, please. Your sentence in the chat of, the, of this group. Uh, I will start uh, like this one. Sister. And, uh, okay. The light. So, like this one. It's correct. Sister and brother don't like soccer. Just like remember this. both my sister and, and my brother. And brother both both don't and like okay. Soccer. Just remember don't don't like soccer. Don't like soccer. Ah the the, the article is the and the S both my sister and brother don't like soccer. Okay. Thank you. Is is necessary is necessary to say both my sister and my brother or just brother? Um is it you necessary? Know? Yes, it is necessary. My sister and my brother. Okay. What about this one? Okay, remember guys that this is for you to speak right this moment. So you should collaborate with Jorge. Please take a minute to collaborate with Jorge. Juan, Juan Norma, please go ahead. Mm, maybe the neither and nor when you want to visit some place, mm -hmm. you can you can use Mm, the these these words, I don't know. Neither. Uh, maybe for one example, in my case, um, I like the way they play soccer. Both uh, Messi and Cristiano. They both play soccer. What? 
They both play soccer. I like the way they both play soccer. Ah, okay. Okay. I like the way both Cristiano and Messi play soccer. I like the way both Cristiano and Ronaldo or whatever yep, play soccer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Teacher in, in all ways, yeah. fruit is neither, and the second is nor or vice versa. No, it has to be neither and then nor. Always. Yep. For these exercises, yes. Remember that if you use a verb in the first section, you use a verb on the second section. Mm -hmm. If you use a noun, you use a noun in the second section. I have another example with neither and nor. Um, neither my mom nor my brother want to eat seafood. It's okay, teacher. I don't know. Type it on the chat. Ah, so please. <laughs> I had other example. Neither I have money, nor I going to pay the devil's night. What? Or invoice? Just invoice. Uh, we cannot use a uh, negative, uh, Diego. Okay. Yes. Maybe neither I have money. I have, uh-huh. I have money. I have money. Okay. No, I'm going to pay. Okay. I'm going, yeah. Thank you. Ahí es donde, como decía, I don't like it. ¿Cómo es? Finish and neither do I. What? Veríamos. She doesn't like eh, eh, digamos, fish. I need a, I do. No, neither. Neither in. She does. Nor like fish. Neither do I. 
a mí tampoco. Al cine. Okay. In... I don't like this. Neither. I... Or do I? ¿Qué es que tiene? What? She... She doesn't like fish. She doesn't. She doesn't like 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 fish. Fish. Uh huh. Neither. Neither. Do I? Do I? To me? No, no Do creo que I. Sí. Puede decir, a mí tampoco. Neither. No, pero es Do que I. el I no es así. No, tu I no. To me. Cuando es a mí, es mí. O sea, es M. -E, M. -E. Ah, okay. No es I. I ah, lo okay. puedes ocupar es como I am, I am. Pero es me. Ah, ok. Entonces, she doesn't like fish, neither to me. Neither Podría ser. to me. Neither to me. Como a mí. To me. O será okay. to me neither. ¿Qué se me... She doesn't like fish, to me neither. Mm. In this I case. Neither, in this do case. I. No, no, uh -huh. neither do I. Ah, pues I said bien. do I. Uh, Yo era la que, la que estaba equivocada. <risas> uh -huh. Do. Do I. Do I. Uh -huh. Ah. Tal vez estaba correcto como lo estabas poniendo. Yo, yo estaba equivocada. Uh -huh. She doesn't like fish. Neither do. Do I. Do I. Yo te entendía tú. <risas> No, tú, tú, ay. Oh. Oh. Neither she doesn't like fish. Other example, neither the, uh, yesterday say, neither the doctor nor the nurse. Told the patient the results of the test. Mm. Teacher, but in, in this case, you say that don't, don't use uh, doesn't or do not because uh, neither and nor is negative. Sure? Exactly. It's ni ni. Neither nor is ni ni. But your classmate had a, had a point. Ellos estaban debatiendo algo. As yo digo, I like fish. ¿Cómo me puede, cómo pueden estar de acuerdo conmigo o estar en desacuerdo conmigo? ¿Cómo dirían a mí tampoco o igual a mí? I like, I like, I like fish. fish. Entonces, a mí me gusta el pescado. A mí también. A mí no. ¿Tú mí? I like fish. No, me. Ok, so veamos. I like fish. So do I. So do I. Igual a mí. Ok. No, es, no hay que decir me too. Me too. Ok, es I like fish. No, oh, so do I. Ok. En cambio, para una negativa, I don't like fish. ¿Cómo contestaría estando de acuerdo y diciendo a mí tampoco? Ahí es donde ocuparía neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Ni a mí tampoco. I don't Lo normal sería que tú dijeras I don't too. Y eso no se hace. I don't too. Yo tampoco. Yo también. O sea, no tiene traducción eso. 
I don't like. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Ni yo tampoco. ¿eh? Oh. Do, do I. I neither do I. The woman can neither walk. No, 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 baby, the baby, King. 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 the King. the King. 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 The old woman came in, in present, neither walk nor talk. The old woman, the old woman can cannot, right? Can uh, need oh, no, no. can 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 neither walk nor nor talk nor, nor talk. talk nor talk the old woman can neither walk nor talk la mujer anciana In positive. ni puede caminar ni hablar ah, es positiva pero si no neither... era, no... uh -huh. podría decir the old woman can't walk nor talk cannot cannot walk or talk no puede caminar no. o hablar. En cambio, oh. con neither, nor, estoy diciendo, ni a, no puede ni hablar ni caminar. O, o sea, ni caminar ni hablar. Uh -huh. ah, el, puede, el poder es en positivo. Okay. Eh, ajá, sí, correcto. O sea, en okay, neither okay. siempre el auxiliar o el modal, lo que estamos ocupando va a ir en su forma positiva si estoy ocupando neither nor porque neither nor significa ni ni okay okay okay, okay. Okay, let me know. Is there anything you need to know? Are we clear? Do you have any questions? Yes, in the last sentence, I I type in the afternoon, neither eat bread nor fruit. So I'm starving. The starving is so it would be it would be like okay. I did neither eat bread nor fruits 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 yes okay i did neither eat bread nor fruit for lunch for lunch so i'm stuck oh wait in the afternoon right fruit for how do you call the middle uh, for snack, yeah. for for snack. Yeah. Wait, breakfast, lunch, brunch for brunch. Okay, so I neither I did neither eat bread nor fruit for brunch, so I'm starving. You got it. Look at this. I did. So I'm talking in past. Mm -hmm. Then. Estoy hablando en pasado, so voy a ocupar el, vamos a ir, sabes que vamos a regresar todo ya, es hora, y voy a ocupar tu ejemplo porque está excelente para atacar un área de oportunidad que todos estamos teniendo, ok. So, what? let's go, let's go. Ok. Okay, let's just wait for the others. I want to I want to clear some things out. 
super quick. I wanted or I wanted. I wanted. Mm, I wanted to I wanted to clear things out. I wanted to clear things out. I what want is, what is more more common? I want to clear things out. I wanted to or I wanted to. Two. I'm teaching you English from the United States. So it will be I wanted to. I wanted to clear things out. I just wanted to clear things out. Okay, we are all back. So vamos a, a cubrir algo rapidito porque nos está causando mucho estrago esto. ¿Qué es algo que suele ocurrir al ver este tipo de no son tiempos gramaticales? Eh? Esta solo es gramática eh, coloquial le llamo yo porque es algo que se ocupa eh, naturalmente en el inglés nativo en el inglés americano so, un americano ocupa esto sí, sí, por si se están preguntando y realmente vamos a ocupar esto eh, sí, sí se ocupa pero lo ocupa más que todas las personas que son muy, muy propias al hablar, así como en el español ah, vemos que nos, nos rebuscamos por alguna que otra palabra para no andar diciendo volado, chunche, vea, en salvadoreño, pues igual lo mismo pasa en americano, ¿ok? Eh, uh, se, se suplantan palabras cuando no se sabe qué decir. O, como acaba de preguntarme Jorge, y es wanted or wanted. Pues lo mismo, ¿no? Eh, a quien lo habla británicamente que por si no lo sabían, los americanos envidian a los británicos en su manera de hablar, la mayoría, uh, pues dirían wanted, alguien que trata de ser muy propio, muy provea. Ok, so I did neither eat bread nor fruit for lunch, so I'm starving, uh, decía Jorge por ahí. Quería abordar esto en español para entender una cosa. Eh, si yo lo hago de esta manera, tengo dos opciones, ¿no? Um, pero siempre el neither y el nor deben de ir eh, precedido de un verbo o un nombre. So, estará bien esta oración. Vamos a ver. I did neither eat bread nor fruit. Ahora, número uno, neither significa ni, nor significa ni también. O sea, ni, ni. Bien, tengo dos opciones. Puedo hacer esto, el sujeto, el auxiliar que estoy ocupando, cualquier auxiliar. Recuerden que los modales también son um, su propio auxiliar, como estaba en el librito que les envié el primer día. ¿Sí? Entonces, si voy a ocupar un auxiliar, solo va a servir para determinar el tiempo gramatical en el que estoy hablando. Si es futuro, pues iría futuro acá. Si es should, iría acá. Un modal. Si es can, iría can acá. ¿Por qué digo esto? Eh, por ahí me decían también. Ayer salió un ejemplo. Me decían, the old woman can. Y aquí podría haber una confusión y podríamos decir can't. Pero no, es can neither walk nor talk ya vamos a, a veamos los dos ejemplos entonces mi sujeto sería the old woman she mi primer sujeto aquí es I voy con el modal en este caso un auxiliar ok Entonces, en su forma positiva ojo ¿por qué no la pongo en negativa? ah porque neither ya está haciendo el papel de negativo en la oración ok Repito, el auxiliar va en su forma positiva, no negativa, porque neither y nor ya se encargaron de la cosa negativa, ¿no? Entonces, ¿qué estoy diciendo acá? La anciana ni puede caminar ni hablar. No, hombre, vos y la viejita ni puede caminar ni hablar. Bien salvadoreño. Ok, lo mismo ocurre acá. Diría, yo ni comí, ojo con esto. Yo ni. ¿Cómo? No, ni comí porque está en pasado. Ni comí pan, ni fruta para 
el ¿qué, qué le llamaríamos a esto Ay, en español cómo le llamamos a ah en la merienda para la merienda between the dinner and the lunch uh, ajá ajá between lunch and dinner you have a snack you have a snack so you have a brunch okay en, en teoría Denson creo que fue eh, si tú te levantas digamos me acosté ayer a la una bueno ahora a la una o dos de la mañana ando desvelado de goma o sea y me levanto a desayunar a las dos de la tarde ok eso es un brunch ya ni es ni almuerzo ni desayuno ni lo que es un brunch ok so I'm starving decía Jorge entonces otra vez, yo ni comí pan ni fruta para la merienda. Así que me estoy muriendo de hambre. I'm starving. ¿Quedó claro eso? Teacher, ¿por qué tiene que ser eh, en pasado aquí? Porque George no tenía el did. Ah, ok. Um, ¿Será que ya? Parte final. Bueno, no tendría sentido, pensemos. Si ocupo okay. otro tiempo gramatical. Por la hmm. palabra brunch. Podría ser esto, mira. Eh, perdón, Manuel. Oh. I neither ate bread nor fruit for brunch. Porque al final no puedes decir, yo ni comeré pan ni fruta para el almuerzo. Así que. Ah, bueno, sí, ¿verdad? Así que estaré hambre, muriéndome de hambre. Y tendría que agregar un poco más de, de tiempo. Hagámoslo sí, si quieres. Sí, sí. eh, vamos a ver. I neither... Vamos a pasarlo al futuro, ¿eh? Ojo todos. I will neither eat... I will neither eat bread nor fruit for brunch. So, I will... I will be starving by what? By the evening or in the evening? In the evening. Parte del día. In, on, at. Okay. I will neither eat bread nor fruit for brunch, so I will be starving in the evening. Tiene sentido, ¿y sí? Sí. ¿Cómo lo traduciría, Manuel? Démosle. Yo no comeré pan ni oh, fruta. Ahí está el error. No es no, sino que ni. Ah, ok. Yo ni comeré pan ni fruta para el almuerzo tardío. Para la merienda, para la merienda. Para la merienda. Así, Así que, que estaré hambriento en la tarde. Perfecto. ¿En la noche? En la noche. En la noche, ajá. Súper bien. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, observación, duda, inquietud? Antes de que pasemos al inglés de nuevo. <ríe> prefiero, prefiero hablar en español unos minutos y que quede clarito todo para que no nos equivocamos. A ver, so if we are clear, Wendy, can you use, well, we already use will. Uh, would you use one of these in a sentence? Using neither nor can, should, do. Other sentence. Yeah, another sentence using one of these auxiliaries. Okay. Uh, should, do. Everybody else, try it, try it. Boy. Uh, Mario. Mario. Ken. 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 Driver. Ken. Neither. Ken. Neither. Ken. Neither. Driver car? Drive. Nor drive car. a car? Drive, drive car? Nor 
no bicycle. I always, I always hesitate on the word bicycle. I don't know why my dyslexia points that way. No. It's the opposite. The other way. No. Yeah, it's the other way around. Sorry. So bicycle. Okay, is this all right, guys? What do you think? Mario can neither drive a car nor bicycle, nor a bicycle. Oh, can. In my point of Bien, view, ese es el punto, Wendy. Necesito el can. can en negativo o no? It can in negative. No. ¿Qué, dice, ¿Qué dice el público? Necesito oh, no. el can. Está bien así, positivo. Neither. Neither. Así está bien, Wendy. Vaya, eso es lo que quiero aterrizar. Si yo ocupo neither, nor... No, no, no. No, 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 no es confuso. Vamos a ver. Se si ocupa neither nor. Okay. Quiere decir ni, ni. Ni una cosa ni la yes. otra. Ya está negativo. Okay. Porque ya está negativo, no necesito mm -hmm. poner en negativo. ¿Por qué? Vamos a analizar esto. Oh. Porque entonces sería Mario que not neither. Estaría doble negando y diría Mario no puede ni no manejar puede un ni carro no. ni una bicicleta. Mm, sí, es raro, ¿no? Ajá. Mario no puede ni manejar. Ajá. Entonces, y es bien apegado al salvadoreño. Mario ni puede manejar un carro ni una bicicleta. ¿Ya? Hoy sí. Ok. Next. Carlos, can you try, should, do or did? Eh. Después voy con Marilena. Eh. You should neither eat junk food nor um, um, or you should neither eat uh, Pizza and hamburg and hamburgers. Pizza nor hamburgers. Nor hamburger. Hamburg. Why? Because you're on a diet. Or just you are on a diet. Remember? You shall neither eat pizza nor hamburger. You are on a diet, remember? Ooh. Okay, perfect. Okay. Marilena, do or did, whatever you want. Did. Okay. Um, I did neither the internet of Movistar uh, nor uh, work for me. In Tigo. Mm. Nor Tigo work for me. Aquí es donde el sujeto se obvia y empiezo de una sola vez con el neither. Neither. Tigo. Vamos a darle propiedad. Tigos nor claros internet worked for me. A ver, Marilena. Neither. Tigos nor claros neither. internet. Tigos nor claro internet. Work for me. Worked for me. Okay. I'll, traducámoslo, Marilena, ¿cómo diría entonces? Ni Tigo, ni Claro, ni el Internet de Trigo, ni el de Claro funciona para mí. Funcionó para mí, ajá. Para Or, ajá, uh -huh, okay, works. Podría ser works. Ajá, uh -huh, for me. Neither Tigos nor Claro's Internet works for me. ¿Saben qué? Esto creo que no es normal yo. Neither Tigo nor Claro the internet work for me. Works for me. Termino um, con singular, trato como singular el verbo. O, en este caso, es un objeto del que estoy hablando. Works for me. Ok. Ahora bien, aclarando. 
Si ocupo un noun, un nombre, después de neither, debo ocupar un noun después de nor. ¿Ok? Ok. And last example, using do. Do or does. Uh, let me see. Mm. Silvia, can you try do or does? Simple present. Excuse me, teacher, I don't understand. Okay. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a seguir la fórmula que teníamos anteriormente. Tengo un subject, el auxiliar que voy a ocupar, que en este ejemplo de arriba sería Kenny, en el siguiente should. Ok. Luego tendría neither, and then the verb, or noun. Ok. Luego tendría nor, And again, the verb or the noun. Otra vez. So, tengo un sujeto más el auxiliar que quiero ocupar. Que a usted le estoy pidiendo que ocupe do or does. Ok. Luego vendría neither. Luego okay. puedo poner un verbo o un nombre. Luego vendría nor. Y luego otra vez un verbo o un nombre. Vamos a ver. Ocupando does. Ok. My mother does... Neither, uh, neither a cake nor uh, papas. Uh, no, nor uh, hot cake. <laughs> hot cakes, uh huh. Hot cakes nor fries. Yes. Okay. Mi mamá ni hace. Hot cakes ni papas fritas. My mother does neither hot cakes nor fries. Okay. So you invite someone to your house and hey, what do you want for dinner? Um, hot cakes or or fries is okay. Oops, I'm sorry. My mother does neither hot cakes nor fries. We are, that's prohibited here in the house. It's not allowed in the house, okay? You got it? Got yes, it. <laughs> uh, ok. Espero que haya quedado claro esto. Eh. Creo que hemos, hemos sido bien extensos en cuanto a delimitar el uso de esto. Y, y pues, si alguien tiene alguna duda, pues háganmelo saber. Igual hay que hacer más ejercicios. Hay que buscar ejercicios, ok. Examples. That's very useful, for example. Um, now let's practice some reading because it's not neither, oh, well, some, some, some German people say neither. Okay. Some Americans say neither sometimes. I don't like that. Oh God, sorry, give me just a minute. Okay, let's see this. I found some examples on the web that I like to use, but this thing is just not, there you go. Okay, so I'll go deleting one by one. I need someone to read number one, Norma. Neither the actor nor the singer was at the party. Excellent. Just say the actor. The actor. Mm -hmm. um, in general words, the when there is a vowel, the when there is a consonant. Uh, let me see, Cristia and Diego. What's up? Want to read? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So let's go with Christian first, and then we go with Diego. Next sentence, Christian. 
Okay. Uh, neither Tom nor Lisa answered the phone. Repeat with me. Answered. Answer. Answered. Answered. Better. Neither Tom nor Lisa answered the phone. You got it. Answered. Teacher, pero yo que dicen answer. Yeah. It's not answer. It's an, an answer. Answer. Okay. Later on. Diego, next. Oops. Neither the father nor the mother is home right now. You see what I'm telling you? Great job. Thank you. So you have two people here, the father nor the mother. But you follow the last one. It is in singular, so you use singular. Okay? Be careful with that. Our home is home. Got it? Teacher, um, if you change the context... The you can say, uh -huh, you can say neither both um, is home right now. Then you will say neither both are home. Okay. Neither both are home. Not home. Okay. Or you can also say neither one of them. Neither one of them. Like that. Neither one of them is home. Okay. And this is very common. Man, neither one of them. Neither one of them work. You know what? I tried both computers, Diego, and neither one of them worked. Okay. Thank you. I hope you got it. Okay. Let's go with Manuel. Come on, come on. Neither she nor he object, objected to the, objected to the change in schedule. Hmm. Bien, el video que les envié de los ED endings, aquí es un ejemplo más. Tengo dos consonantes juntas, luego agrego ED. ¿Sí? ¿Esta qué regla es? ¿La 1, la 2 o la 3? Objected. La 3. Excellent. Very good. So, if you have consonant, consonant, it sounds like ed. Be careful with that. Okay. Uh, it's different when you have vowel consonant. Okay. We will see that. Next. Marielena Guadalupe. Mrs. Peñate, please, would you read the sentence? <laughs> I um I don't know. Just just yeah. read it. Just read it. Neither the meat. Mm -hmm. Neither. Uh, neither the meat mm -hmm. and nor the fish are very good. No, no, no. Just read the sentence <laughs> on the screen. Si puede leer la oración que está en la pantalla. The azul. The blue. Neither my my friends. I nor have have had much time nor fun nice the school started. Hmm. ¿Qué dice acá, Marilena? Acá en azul. Since. Since. Okay. Eh, déjeme ver alguna vez más. Perdón, chico. Voy a tomar un segundo de su tiempo. Um, where is? Oh, no, no puedo hacer más grande. Ah, cómo no. Format. I have to make it bigger. There you go. Okay. Otra vez, Marilena, please do it again. Neither my friends nor I have had much time nor for fun since school. The school started. Since school started. Está en el teléfono o en una computadora? <laughs> in my PC, but on your PC. Internet is bad. Ah, el internet lo ve borroso. 
Así se ve borroso. Pregunto, solo, solo estoy, estoy preguntando porque puede ser la graduación también de los lentes. A mi hijo le pasa, por eso le, le digo. El gordito salió que te necesitaba lentes hace poco, so, tuve, tuvimos que comprar lentes. Resulta que el niño se caía y, y yo decía, ¿por qué se cae este? Vea? <risa> y no, <risa> no, nunca decía nada hasta que de repente me, me dijeron del colegio, mire, este se sienta en la primera fila y eh, cierra los ojitos para ver la pizarra. Y yo, Ay, no. So, anyways, okay. it, it is what it is. Let's check that. Vamos a chequear eso. Okay, next. Who is next? Silvia Suleima. Okay. Neither the meat nor the fish are very good. Very good. <laughs> very good. Hey, that word, you say very. Es una V. So you say very. El, el labio inferior viene abajo de los dientes superiores y decís very, very. Okay, neither the meat nor the fish are very good, very good. Si decís very es mora, creo, very. Okay, next, Cristia. Neither they nor we have enough money to go on vacation this year. To go on vacation this year. To go on vacation this year. Vacation. Vacation. Perfect. Neither they nor we have enough money to go on vacation this year. Hey, what's up, Diego? I want to read. Again? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let me finish the round. Because we okay. have we are we have crowded house today. That's great. Let me finish the round. Mario Jose. Yes. Well, you, 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 you read, 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 read the, the, the sentence, sentence, sentence. <laughs> Can you read the sentence? There's feedback. Yeah, sorry. I have uh, two devices connected. Awesome. But that, that's clear now. Go ahead. Okay, uh, that was because I am a computer, but also in my phone, so I was changing from my telephone to the computer. So let me. I cannot see anything. Okay, uh, neither students nor teachers will be able to use that classroom when they are finished the painting it. When they're finished painting it. Okay. When they're finished painting it. Uh, this is a long sentence. Now I want you to notice neither students nor teachers will be able hmm, to use that classroom. There, there's a plural, but there is no, nothing that affects that, you know, they're, they're talking in plural. Now, something that calls my attention on this sentence when they are finished painting it. When they're finished painting it. What do you understand by this sentence? Can you translate it, someone? When they are finished painting it? Cuando ellos están terminando de pintarlo. Mm, uh -huh. Someone else? Can someone else Cuando translate it? Cuando termina de pintarla. Basically, yeah, uh -huh. cuando terminen de pintarla, cuando ellos terminen de pintarla, cuando terminen de pintarla. So you could say when they're done, when they're done painting it, when they're done painting it. Excellent. Okay, let me see who else hasn't talked. Diana? Neither Tom nor his wife were home when I called him. Perfect. Okay, so who, she was calling Tom, right? She was calling Tom. Neither Tom nor his wife were home when I called him. Whether she was calling Tom or some other guy in that house. Okay, next, next, next. Who's next? Who's below Diana? Susana Beatriz? Yeah. 
Susana, no. Juan Carlos. Yep, yeah. will you please read? Miller Junior, he's here. More natural. Neither you nor he is here. One more time. Neither you nor he is here. Neither you nor neither you nor he is here. Neither you nor he is here. You got it. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Susana, no, Mario Villeda. Okay, let's go back with Diego. Neither she nor the baby cried. Oh, do it again. Cried. Cried. Sorry. You got it. Cried. Nor she, uh, let's see, neither she nor the baby cried. Neither she nor the baby cried. You got it. The baby, the baby. <laughs> the baby cried. Thank you. Who's next? Okay, go ahead. Do you want to read? Okay, keep going. Or, go. Neither he nor I are ready for the meeting. More natural. Neither he nor I are ready for the meeting. Better. Thank you, Christia. Go. She likes neither tea nor coffee. Better. She likes neither tea nor coffee. She likes neither tea nor coffee. So what does she drink? So what does she drink? What can I offer her? A Water. Drink? A, a drink? <laughs> a beer? Okay. She likes neither tea nor coffee. Okay. Next, Wendy. He neither he never wants to, nor neither to be on time for the meeting. You got it. Very good. He neither wanted nor needed to be on time for the meeting. Now, this is a clear example. Wanted. Okay, or wanted if you want, needed, you cannot say it another way. Esto ocurre porque la D se convierte en una R cuando está entre dos vocales, al igual que la T entre dos vocales. Okay. Hope you got it. Eh, un ejemplo más, meeting. Sounds weird. Suena raro si es meeting. Va a ir al meeting, bo. Yeah. Ah, de ahí viene. Meeting. Okay. Next. Jorge. This is long. Uh, okay. The florist neither like nor dislike the father, but so it was nice enough for a little girl party. Oh, close. It's very long. The florist neither liked nor disliked the pattern, but thought it was nice enough for a little girl's party. Little girls, little pattern. girls. Pattern. Pa uh huh. Pattern. Pattern. Lo que acabo de mencionar, aunque sean dos T's, pero están entre dos vocales, entonces se convierte en una R. Ojo, no dos pattern. R's, okay? Pattern. Pattern. Uh, pattern, no, pattern. Okay, yeah. pattern. You got it. Okay, and we're missing two still. Diana, would you help us again? Thank you. The candidate neither looks like a politician nor talks like one. You got it. Talks like one. Talks like one. You got it. And the last one, Mario Jose. Oh, again, yeah, the computer thing. No, I was muted. Uh, Your microphone. Okay. Neither this thing nor that thing is my favorite. I prefer soccer altogether. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. Neither this team nor that team is my favorite. Okay, extra point. Who can change this sentence to avoid it sound like repetitive or redundant? 
neither this thing nor that thing. Uh huh. How will you change that sentence to to say the same thing, but not sound redundant? Neither this team nor that other one is my favorite. That's too long still. <laughs> but it's different. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, it means something different. That other one sounds like that team as well. So, uh-huh. Come on, guys. Think, think. Any one of these teams... No. Barcelona. No. Ah, come on. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> that will be very, very specific. Okay, guys. Yeah. What I'm expecting is this. Okay. Neither team is my favorite. I prefer soccer altogether. Okay. And I'm still saying the same. Ningún equipo. Neither team is my favorite. I prefer soccer altogether. Okay. Esto deja claro que tenés que ser específico al usar neither nor entre dos objetos, ni uno ni el otro. Questions? No. Ok. Good. The platform. Very. The platform? Questions, questions. <laughs> okay. Neither, neither question nor dubs. No, nor doubt. Uh -huh. There are in this class. Okay. Neither questions nor doubts are in this class. Are in this class. Let me see if I can access the platform. Still. I had some trouble accessing last time. It took a long time. We will see that in a minute, Wendy, because it's taking a long time. I'm going to give you a break, a little break. Give me just a minute. Okay. Uh, all my methodology, my English methodology is based I mean, part of part of what I do, the way I treat students has to do with this video. Why, why do I want to make sure that you learn? And, and the most useful tool that I have to teach is this one. So let, let's watch this short video is like six minutes or so. Stay here, just mute your microphone, turn on your microphone so you can watch the video just for six minutes, okay? Vamos a ver el video juntos.
sorry teacher can you say something because i don't know if my that's a i bad or what let me text okay. you no no uh, actually i i was trying to uh hear the the video but i cannot i can hear you too but the the, the video no i don't know why oh, to i'm sorry try another device but yeah it's a youtube video okay i will think. okay okay
Let me know whenever you're ready. Don't okay, now I need to hear your thoughts really quick about that video. Teacher, I understood. In English. In English. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, about the video, uh, the the person is a is a like you, teacher. <laughs> that it's a different ways to to understand the topics and the thinking of the student uh, and the the. The other people, it's it's different. Exactly, we have we all have different ways of thinking, right? Yes. Okay. So, someone else. Good job. Thank you, Manuel. Mm -hmm. I guess sometimes we have different things. Uh, maybe we think that we are expressing correctly, but sometimes when I say something, uh, I think in my way, but the other person got it based on their know or on their experience uh, in some things uh, when we try to when you think uh, on the basic or like a kid they they see Things are simple. They uh -huh. they don't go with they go straight. They don't they go, go straight. They say the they, first thing, the first thing that yeah. comes to their mind. The thing that they understand, yeah. Uh -huh. I guess something it's happened. True. That's true. I, I see you very thoughtful, Diana. What do you think? <laughs> I was trying to make the idea um, that you can learn from everyone. Um, sometimes we, we believe that only because they are kids, they don't know anything or they don't think. And when we are adults, we are really mind closed and we want everything with a structure and sometimes maybe that's because this class is hard for us because we want to make it right and don't make mistakes and a kid is not like that a kid says the first that comes from their minds so i think we should be like a kid and you are like kids that's my point that that's why as a teacher you have to Think, you know, twice before you open your mouth or you do a gesture. In my case, I, I do a lot of gestures, but I, I will never, I, I try to avoid doing this. Right? <laughs> like, no, 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 never, never. Okay. It's just, I like to think if Manuel is speaking, why did he say that? Oh, wait, he didn't understand this part. Okay. You do this this way. I mean, you have to be on the other person's shoes. You, you got to say that, uh, that uh, the last week, I guess, that sometimes we speak and sometimes you don't understand, but we understand each other because maybe we think, uh, yeah, maybe at the same have, level. Yeah, and maybe we. we uh, you know uh, the courage for to structure uh, mm -hmm. the same so something that that's why you maybe feel that's my job yeah that's my job now one thing for this methodology to work 
I must hear you speaking. I must see you working. If not, I have nothing to work on. I have nothing to do. I don't have the way to get to know you. I don't have the way to get to know you. And even worse, y aún peor, okay, if you don't turn on your camera. I mean, and when I put you in groups, everybody's quiet. So, something so. funny that I'm seeing as a trend, I have seen that video, one person sending a voice note, speaking in English, and you suppose that uh, the person is speaking pretty well, the pronunciation, the pronunciation is really good, but, but when this person commence to hear the the voice that he figured out that actually the, the act is really bad and something that happened to me when I I speak with somebody. I guess that I am communicating what I'm saying, but I know that Maybe they feel kind of kind of uh confused because they ask me again. And when they ask me again, I know that there is some part that I doesn't or I don't sorry, I don't uh pronunciate I well. didn't I didn't pronunciate well. Okay. Good, super bien. Un paréntesis. Si notaron que Mario José se corrige solo, todos tenemos que estar ya en ese nivel. Si tú no estás aún en ese nivel de corregir el das por el do cuando hablas de ti, por ejemplo, o el do por el did, porque sabes que lo que estás diciendo está en pasado, entonces tenemos que meterle más la pata, como decimos en salvadoreño. Métale, mijo, porque ya hay que uh, llegar a ese nivel de que tú solo decís, uy, o okay, que dije, Ah, no era así, no era así, ok. Ahí empieza uno a confiar en su cerebro, porque ya tiene la información. Si lograron ver, bueno, número uno, es posible lo imposible con Marvio Lobos, y número dos, what was the, the name of the movie, Manuel? I forgot. The, oh my God, I told you, Robert De Niro, Limitless. Sin límite. Si, if you saw the video, if you saw the movie, then you understand what I'm talking about. Your brain has the answers. Just trust on your brain. So, um, I was able, finally, I was finally able to, um, to get into the platform. When I get it here, Wendy, what was the exercise? Exercise two point something? Two. To, uh, 2.2? 2.2? Yes. So, 2.2, 2.2, give me just a minute. Oh, we did it before. Kind of. We kind of did it before. What's going on? Where is your question? Now that we have reviewed this, not only, but also, help me guys. She was upset, she was angry. As we talked a few seconds ago. She not only was, was upset, she not only was upset, but also she was upset, but also angry. 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 Now, there is a period here. So, she not only was upset, but angry. She not only was upset, but angry. Let's see. Ah, what? But also, but only but also angry. No, she. No, right, she. You know what? Okay, la disculpa del it's caso. Right, en I, este I caso, saw. 
en este caso está mal la plataforma. Yes. En lugar de also, miren, miren, ojo, y aquí es donde les digo, no puedo culpar a nadie. Quien hizo esto en la plataforma tiene dislexia igual que yo. <risa> ¿Ven? Aquí dice, right. But hazlo, no, but also. Hazlo. Hazlo, no, also. ¿Sí? Oh. But hazlo angry. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Then, let's see. Okay, the next one is, is, is easy. The same way, the same pattern, Wendy. They. Uh-huh. Wendy. Sorry. Okay. The second. No. Chicken. Second. No, 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 no. They need. Uh -huh, they need. Number five. They, they know the they not only need yep everybody cool, but also medicine mm -hmm. but also uh, my problem is no, I write they or the, again oh they okay or she or yeah Okay. Now look at this. Rewrite the sentences again using neither nor. Neither nor. So number one, he cannot speak English. He cannot write English. Eso lo acabamos de ver. He can neither speak nor write English. Exactly. Be careful with the word English. Okay. It's with a capital, a capital letter, English, and period. Yep, you got it? Oh, come on. Teacher, number yeah. four. Wait, he can neither speak nor, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, nor. There you go. Uh -huh. Number two. And who said number four? Me, teacher. Uh -huh. She not only was upset, pero decíamos que hay un error en la plataforma. Okay. It's not also, escriban A-S-L-O and it will show up right. Got it? Slow down, please. Um, que está mal en la plataforma, vas a tener que escribir en lugar de also, en la número 4, vas a tener que escribir hazlo. Ok. Hazlo. Ese es, un, ese es, el, ese es el perro de, de, de Thor, ¿verdad? No, quiero ¿verdad? ver. No me sale tu la número 3. Number 3. Oh, yeah. sorry. Ok. No, no, no. Number 3. I not only send him many letters, but also try to telephone him. De, eh, en su en su plataforma ahí si se si pudiera mostrarlo es que no no lo sí le estoy mostrando Jaime eh, perdón eh, um... cinco, pero solo hasta las cinco oh you look up soon hold on Manuel ok las cinco la parte. si estoy en la primera parte dos punto dos one two three four Five. Is this the one, Manuel? 2.2. Yeah, 2.2. No, la primera parte es. I'm on the first part, yes. Not only. Exactly. Okay. There are problems with the children. There are problems with the parents. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher, but you're not showing us that. What? What am I showing? No. The second part, the first part. Oh, uh, it froze, maybe. Hold on. 
if it was frozen. Okay, there you go. So do you see the screen? Yeah. It's, but it's in the same part. <laughs> what? Yes. It That's start from number either, five. Either nor. I don't know if because you put Zoom or, or what. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. Thank you. Since I zoomed it. Hmm. Okay, how about now? Yes, teacher. Okay. So again, and thank you. Yes, I was zooming the screen, so that was a problem. Okay, so Manuel, number, what what's the error that you're showing? What number? Hola, Manuel. Manuel said in the number three. Number three, okay. I sent him many letters. I also tried to telephone him. Because I not only sent him many letters, but also try to telephone him. But also try to telephone him. I hope he, he got it. Number four, we did it as well. She was upset. She was angry. She not only was upset, but as low angry. Just that That's the only mistake we have found. Let's go with number two on the second section. Neither nor. He did not eat the cake himself, but I'm sorry. <laughs> he did not eat the cake himself. He did not let others eat it. We did this before. Mm -hmm. Neither nor. Come on, guys. He did neither. Uh huh. He did. Uh huh. Continue. Nor. Let others. There, the others, others, he did, he did. Bien, acá me voy a detener un segundo. Quien hizo esta respuesta igual cambió este verbo. Let, oigan porfa, la número dos del ejercicio 2.2 de la, la segunda sección. Eh, cambiaron let por allowed, allowed, sorry, allowed, nor allowed others to eat it. Está bien diferente. Okay, so to eat it. So again, he did neither eat the cake nor allowed others to eat it. I'll send Teacher. you your WhatsApp. Hey. But I saw the example <laughs> and it was he neither ate the cake himself nor allowed others to eat it. Oh, himself, yes. Without the did. Oh. Thank you. He neither ate the cake himself. Nor allowed others to eat it. And I sent something wrong. There you go. Thank you. Okay, you should not meet him. You should not talk to him. 
You should neither meet him nor talk to him. Mm -hmm. You should neither meet him nor talk to him. Excellent. Number four. Teacher, una pregunta. Siempre de, deben de, de, se debe de anular el, el punto. Period. Excelente, muy bien. De ahí agregas el nor en lugar del period. No hay comas, solo agregas, quitas el, el period. So, do, do the next debe, one, Manuel. Se debe anular siempre el... el sí, sí, correcto, porque aquí te... Ah, y el sujeto, correcto, para no sudar, sonar redundante. I, I have that question. When we have to use the subject and where we're not. You know what? What I say to the students is just listen to yourself. Does it sound like a very redundant? Then don't put it, don't add it. Okay. Yeah. So do the next one, Manuel. She is not beautiful. She is not intelligent. Here you're using adjectives, so it's very simple. It's very straightforward. You're just qualifying someone in a negative way. Okay, Manuel, la fórmula que acabamos de ver antes de entrar a, a esto era el sujeto, luego el, el auxiliar. She's, she's neither beautiful nor intelligent. Uh -huh. Nor. Yes. Nor intelligent. Nor. Nor. Sorry. Nor. Yes, that's me. Uh, teacher, in the in the, the number, example, <laughs> uh huh. In the number two, what about the tense? It is it it, it was in the past, but uh, uh huh. It's not necessary the the auxiliary. Uh huh. As I told you before, you can either put the auxiliary or move the verb to its grammar tense. So he neither, he did neither, you can say he did neither eat the cake, right? Mm -hmm. You could do that. He did neither eat or he neither ate. Okay. ¿Y cuándo voy a saber qué hacer? De nuevo, escúchese usted mismo. Que se, que se, se oye mejor. Listen to your heart when it's talking to you. Uh -huh. Last one. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where Manuel is going. <laughs> I don't know why. Listen to your heart before. James, neither past. <laughs> uh -huh. Nor Peter. Oh! <gasps> Uh, past. Hmm. Hmm. think about it think about it Jorge I told you this before this exercise you have two people and both both made the same mistake mm -hmm. so how neither will neither James nor Peter pass the, the test yes you got it mm -hmm. exactly Neither James nor Peter. Oh my God. Capital, sorry. Neither James nor, I keep doing that. Peter passed the test. <laughs> and this is the same example as before. Neither Tom nor his wife were home. Something like that. It's a Yep.
ella no es ni hermosa ni inteligente. Y en ese caso es, ni James ni Pita pass the exam, the test. Pita, Pita. You got it? Teacher, Sandy. Número cinco, no me, lo, no me lo agarra, teacher. Number five, don't worry. Let me do that for you. Neither James. Neither can use PC nor self. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the the subject is missing. Oh well, I don't know if Guadalupe is back. It was four minutes ago. It's on your WhatsApp already, that answer. I gotta move move on. Okay, I have to move on. So, man, time flies when you're having fun. So, really quick, let's have a quick talk. Let's have a quick talk. Today's topic, let's discuss for the following 10 minutes. This question's on your page number 15. We, we need to identify training needs, but what is negative? What happens with some trainings at your workplace that don't go well? This is your opportunity to speak. So question number one, have you ever attended a training program that did not address the specific needs of your workplace area? Have you heard that sometimes they just send you to a training because, well, just because? I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Jorge, and for, then we have Christian. Uh, for this month, I have a, I don't know if a, a training, but it's about the, Issues with the alcohol. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> do you think it? Do you, do you think it has nothing to do with your job? But it's a, a a whole day. Wow. It's kind of boring, but it's part of the work. Why? Why is it part of your job if? <laughs> because uh, here in this project there are many people and mo uh, the, much of them or many many of them many of them there are from San Salvador but here that it, that it doesn't nothing to do in the night so there are issues with the alcohol sometimes <laughs> okay, don't you think that's an insinuation from your job? From your yes. work? To maybe to take the control of that of your, issue. Of your life. <laughs> yeah, maybe. definitely. Definitely. I mean, some people lose their lives because of this problem. Okay, thank you. Christia, what do you think? Um, I have an experience uh, that two months ago, uh, my 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 boss uh, sent me to a QC training, and I am in the production planner area, so it's nothing related to my workplace. So for me, it was a uh, less time. And and only that. <laughs> wait, wait! I didn't get that. The last part. There were not too many attendees, or what? What happened? No, uh, just three person attended the training. Three people and, attended the training. Yes, three people, and we were we are um twenty. People inscribed, I don't know how they say inscribed. Sus subscribed. Subscribers, yes. And only three persons attend the training. Three people, uh huh. Three people, 
Yes. Okay. It was a waste of time, no? Yes. And resources. Yes. yes. Now, uh, uh, one more. I was in the uh, on the twenty. I was in the formation of an uh, of integral emergency brigade. I guess that the the name of the training. And it's supposed that they they taught us uh, first aid and and that's good. Mm -hmm. But the thing that I guess that part of the, or the training indeed uh, is for uh, maybe a company that has a lot of uh, people working on there with uh, high risk. Actually, my, my job is kind of uh, high risk because I have to go to the vessel. Sometimes there is a uh, bad weather. Uh, and this bad weather makes some swell. And that's made that the vessel move uh, hard and, how do you say, roughly? Or? Roughly, uh huh. And sometimes the, the ropes. Uh, has broken something that uh, rope, if you are in front of rope, uh, can hit you. And if the, the rope hit you, probably you will die. Uh, and the first aid, it's uh, good to know this. The thing that the formation was to make a team that attend. Uh, these emergencies and in my office we are only six seven person seven people um, sorry seven people and we we are not all of us in the same time in the office so the i guess time. i guess it was a kind of a waste of time because after that we received another well, we didn't receive we attend to an, uh, a training but in video mm -hmm. that is what Through. for uh, virtual the economy mm -hmm. and I don't know if they are good to us because they don't have nothing to do with our job, I mean, their economy, but the first aid, yes, but the, the not for their economy, no, mm -hmm. because anyhow, if they taught us the first aid, they don't keep uh, the team teaching the another part because I, I, I know that this brigade has to pass two or three different training in order to make all the things, but they they knew that was a waste of time because they don't keep us uh, training on on the on the brigade in order to to uh, to make the all the things to make all the things. Okay. Totally, I agree with you. And, and and sometimes companies they they have to find some fillers, fillers. It means if you have no work, well, on on the case of uh, companies on manufacturing companies, I have seen that happening um, after COVID or before COVID. There was there were no um, requisitions for production. So they didn't have enough job for for the production plant. So they were sending people home, remember? They were sending people home. But sometimes the company was like, okay, we cannot just be paying them money just because. 
So let's have the, the let's have them work on something different that is out of their area, right? Let's train them on something different. Let's take advantage of the time. Okay. Now a question. Human resources, do they usually conduct surveys in your workplace to identify your training needs, to identify what you need to be trained on? Someone else? Someone else other than Mario? Um, Chris, I think, who, who talked? I, I can remember. So does HR ask you, hey, do you think you need to be trained on something? On my work, yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they constantly send us a survey to identify that, and we have a uh, um an area specific from What's that. What's the name? And What's the name of the area? A learning studio. Oh yeah. Well, only well, in our case is uh talent, human talent. No, I can't remember. Talent acquisition. Talent acquisition. No. That, that that's re, no, that's recruiting. That's yeah. part of the recruiting team, but I can remember. Uh talent, you know, employee development, something like that. I can remember right now. But yeah, I mean call centers are very oriented to, to the employees, right? So that that's good. And you say survey, 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 survey. So some people like to say survey. Ah, survey. <laughs> okay, guys. So think about this because we will develop more this topic tomorrow. Tomorrow we have to develop this topic a little bit more and just come up with something. You know, we have to find some terms. So I'm going to give you this as a homework if you don't mind. Please go online tonight or tomorrow before the class. And when we come back to the class tomorrow, let me know what our business goal needs and goals, what our business needs and goals, what is a survey, okay? Gap skills analysis. This is very important. Gap skills analysis and performance appraisals. This is on page 15 of the student's book. Page 15 of the student's book. I'll send you the image to your WhatsApp right now and do the attendance so you may go rest in peace <gasps> okay no what <laughs> you may go rest in peace <laughs> just for tonight tomorrow we, we will see each other don't worry um so tonight i'm staying with who i stood with jorge last time so juan carlos juan carlos rivas can you stay 10 minutes please uh, not today, teacher. Got it. Okay, let me see. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. We will stay 10 minutes, right? Yesterday. No, you stood with me yesterday. No, yes. no, no. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, yes. Yes, it's true. I have Maria Elena Guadalupe. Yay. Maria Elena, will you stay 10 minutes with me? Que se, se puede quedar 10 minutos? Yes. Okay, thank you. I know, we, we will try, we will try, Marilena, okay? Okay, guys, enjoy the night. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Here, here, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Okay, Cristian Nathalie Eraso Rogel. Present. Thank you. And good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Cherguiño Martinez. Here, good night, teacher. Good night. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Here, teacher. Good night, good night, everyone. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. Good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. Good night. Marilena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. 
Excelente. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Bye. Goodbye. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Good night. Good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Not tonight. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Blessings. Blessings. Good night. Good night. Okay, Mary Elena. Yes, good evening again. Good evening again. How are you? Oh, I don't. I don't care. I don't know. How do you say it? No me puedo quejar. Eso, can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. That's right. Okay, tell me, this is our first session, so what has been your experience with English? For how long have you been trying to learn English? Um, I learn English in bachelor since your bachelor and year, um, uh, last year um i'm subscribed or inscribed in this course course hmm. with um friends in my job but my friends pregnant in out <laughs> And I am, um, I'm here. <laughs> and you continued, okay. I continue. Okay, uh, bien. A ver, yo siempre que tengo en las primeras sesiones, usualmente las hago en español, la primera sesión. Ya de ahí los siguientes módulos, full inglés. Y vamos abordando temas como que es bien básicos y comunes de, de abordar en, en estas situaciones, ¿no? Eh, lo que le preguntaba era que cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés. Y esa es la primera pregunta que siempre suelo hacer. Mm -hmm. Son dos o tres preguntas. La segunda es, eh, aparte de recibir estas dos horas de clase, ¿qué más estoy haciendo, o sea, Marilena, qué estoy haciendo para mejorar el conocimiento del inglés? O sea, ¿me quedo estudiando después o antes? ¿Qué más hago aparte de, de estas dos horas en clase en virtuales? Lo único que logro hacer es que cuando voy manejando, en el carro del trabajo pongo música en inglés por lo menos para ir aprendiendo o escuchando el, uh -huh. afinando el oído uh -huh. porque salgo de aquí como a las cinco y media y regreso casi que a las ocho entonces no me da chance y cuando termina la clase casi estoy muriendo me sueño porque tengo que hacer comida uh -huh. para llevar mañana mi almuerzo y el de mi, mi hijo o ver si hay algo para no cocinar y si hay algo me voy a tostar y si no, pues no, Pero lo único que... que hago es escuchar Ajá. música hmm. ok, fíjese que con mi esposa nos toca igual, los dos trabajamos y déjenme ver si ya les envié esto no, no se los he enviado bueno ya no va a escuchar música, sino que lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a ocupar un, unas, unos audios que ya tienen su propia, um, ¿cómo se dice esto? Ya están transcritos en inglés, por supuesto. Ok. Y ahí se lo voy a enviar al chat. Eh, ¿Qué es esto? Pues son más de 250 audios que yo encontré en el 2016. Y me ayudaron a desarrollar ciertas técnicas. Más que todo, esto sirve muchísimo, muchísimo. Usualmente suelo decir que, la manera en la que yo aprendí, ¿no? Agarro una canción, agarraba una canción, 
y yo cometía el error al principio de ir traduciendo. Pero a medida que fue avanzando descubrí que español ya sabía para qué quería seguir teniendo eso. Entonces mejor no me fijaba en lo que estaba cantando o en lo que estaba diciendo o lo que decía la canción hasta que me la aprendía. O por lo menos aprendí a pronunciar correctamente según mi oído porque no tenía celular en los noventas. Según mi oído lograba pronunciar igual que la canción. Entonces... Este proceso se puede aplicar igual para canciones o para esto. Lo que le voy a enviar es un índice que lleva a más subíndices. Es decir, está así está estructurado. Tiene opciones de temas y, y adentro de esas opciones de tema hay otros temas. Es decir, uh -huh. va a dar clic dos veces sin discriminar. Por ejemplo, hay uno que dice School Life. Quiero ver. El primero. Dice School Life. Al darle clic a School Life, va a aparecer un anuncio. Lo podemos cerrar. Y abajito y en colores aparece Buying Textbooks, Class Registration. Y así no son subtemas. Hay 22 subtemas dentro de School Life. Cualquiera de esos. Ahora voy a agarrar. Y esto, vea este video de nuevo para entender el proceso. Día 1, digamos que agarro el... Ese audio lo voy a imprimir, ¿sí? Porque ahí está todo lo que dicen el personaje A y el personaje B. Uh -huh. Entonces lo imprimo o lo reescribo, que mucho mejor porque al escribir se activan muchas cosas en el cerebro. Entonces, ya he escrito esto. Puedo, incluso creo que todavía está la opción. No, no está la opción de descargar el audio, pero lo puedo grabar desde la computadora con el teléfono. Hay muy maneras de hacerlo ahora. Lo grabo, lo ando en mi memoria. Y cuando vengo en el carro, lo vengo escuchando. Y empiezo. Hey, you're in my English class. Pongo pausa. Y digo en el carro. Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you, did you buy the textbook yet? ¿Qué dijo? Para atrás, atrás. Did you buy the textbook yet? Entonces, el primer día y el segundo día, de ser posible... Hay que matar una cosa primero. No voy a abrir la boca. Con la boca cerrada voy a escuchar y leer con, los, con la vista nada más. Escuchar y leer, escuchar y leer. ¿Por qué? Porque mi, de todas las letras del idioma inglés ya las conoces, ¿sí o no? Sí, la I, la S, la Y, la O, la U. Pero lo que desconoce el cerebro es cómo se lee en inglés. Entonces, con la boca cerrada... Solo voy leyendo y escuchando. Le estoy enseñando a mi cerebro que ya no se dice hey, hoy se dice hey. Ya no se, ya no se dice yore, ahora se dice your. ¿Sí? Yo. Dos días después, el cerebro ya dice, ah, bueno, está bueno, pues ya voy a decir hey, you're in my English class. Tercer, cuarto día, empiezo a repetir, repetir, repetir. Lo bonito de estos audios es que es una conversación natural entre dos personas. Y puede interactuar y agarrar el tono natural de una persona hablando. Con las canciones no se puede hacer eso. Uh -huh. Ok, si no andaríamos cantando todo el tiempo. Entonces, ya. Quinto día. Sigo practicando. Ahora, del quinto día en adelante, no voy a traducir. Ojo, eh. Del quinto día en adelante, viene María Elena y dice el sábado. No, hombre, ya me puedo este volado. Agarro el celular y lo cubo para algo útil al fin. Y me grabo. Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. Entonces, ya lo grabé. Ahora le voy a dar play a esto y al teléfono al mismo tiempo. Uno, dos, tres. Pum. Primera reacción de Marilena va a ser. Y ese Qué raro, no. Ajá, esa es mi voz. <ríe> Porque uno cree que se vive en sexy la voz, ¿verdad? Pero no, lo que oyen los demás es bien diferente. Entonces, segunda reacción. Uy, dije, dije expensive. No, no era así, lo voy a subrayar entonces. Tengo que practicar esa palabra, ok. Uy, dije 2000, y ahí dice 200. Vaya. Y ahí va. Es decir, la primera eh, resultado, el primer resultado de este ejercicio será... Aprender a escucharse a sí mismo y, y autocorregirse. 
autocorregirse, porque todo esto le va a quedar grabado al cerebro y va a empezar a autocorregir, a autocorregir. Ahora imagínese que usted agarre un texto de estos por semana y siga ese proceso hasta el séptimo día. Usted dice, bueno, ¿y qué estaba diciendo? Pues, <ríe> sí. Y a lo que no entiende lo va aprendiendo. O alguna palabra nueva. ¿Sí? ¿Tiene sentido? Sí, tiene sentido. Chivo, intentemos eso. La próxima reunión que yo le llame, se queda conmigo y me dice, mire, lo intenté con dos audios ya, o un audio, claro, una semana, lo intenté un, con un audio y esto y esto pasó. ¿Ya? Eh, eh. <ríe> yo sé que es difícil, pero créame, todo el sacrificio que haga ahorita por aprender este idioma y llegar a ganar, y llegar a tener un trabajo donde le paguen mil dólares al mes. Después va a decir, huela, sí. Qué bien. Y <ríe> la pierdo, se le va la señal. <ríe> ya la perdí. Ok. Ahí va más o menos, ok. Bien. Eh... Está mala la conexión, no. vaya. Escríbame, oye. Good night, Marilena. Bye, bye.